This is the multiple tally denominator. I have the 1x2 model and the 1x5 model. It has nice big buttons with four digit counters for each one. You hit the button and it counts. Turn the big turny knobs on the end to reset it to zero. That's it. What more do you want from me? About a year and a half ago I made a video about this thing, the denominator from the 1920s. It was a counting machine used to help the payroll people in a cash-based business keep track of all the different coins they would need. I actually didn't explain this properly in my video. Yop Scarepice did a better job in his video. Check it out! Anyway, the folks at the Denominator Company are still in business today and they still make counting machines. These two multiple tally models are probably a couple of decades old, but it's hard to say. A few people commented on my old video about seeing denominator counters like this in the wild, and I appreciate the stories. Chris from Texas drives a bus, and their whole bus line uses these things. I bought this one on eBay. The seller says it came out of a bus in the RTD system in Denver. I tweeted the RTD to see when they stopped using them, but they didn't know what I was talking about. One person even replied with a hot take about Denver Transit. No one counts on the end line. Speak your truth, Kendra. This one's for you. This little guy here was sent to me by a faithful viewer who says they found it in a Goodwill shop. They hoped I would appreciate it, and they were right. I'm still blown away whenever people send me stuff, so thank you. Anyway, the denominator counter is a very simple instrument. You got a bunch of buttons, and each one has its own counter. There's no linkage from one to the other. One doesn't like carry over to the next one or anything. So this one here is meant for keeping track of five separate numbers at a time. You hit the button and it counts one. To clear it back to zero, you turn the little crank on the side. It'll get there. As far as functionality, it's basically the same as the 100 year old original model. Clearing works the same way too. The denominator company is still making these guys. You can buy them on their website. I mentioned in my other video, their prices are kind of insane. A new 1x2 counter costs $135. The 1x5 is almost $300. Something, 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 curda. To be honest, I don't really know why they're this expensive, but looking around at their website, they're apparently handmade to order. When you order one, you can specify your choice of all the colors, and you can also tell them if you plan on mounting it. This one here has little feet on it, but this one has screw points. I believe if you order a new one, you can tell them what you're going to screw it into and they'll customize the mounting. So for the luxury price, at least you're getting a personal touch. But in the end, the real question is how does it feel? First off, the metal construction is solid. I believe it's aluminum, but it's got some real weight to it. The website says it's extremely durable, and I believe it. It feels like you could drive a car over it, although I haven't tried that. The keys themselves are plastic non-slip plastic apparently the biomechanically engineered ergonomic design facilitates repetitive motion okay the button has a slight depression to it so it hugs your finger a little when you press it and how does it feel to press it that's the big question isn't it and i'm here to tell you it feels great the button itself offers very little resistance the old one you have to push fairly hard to drive the mechanism inside and you really got to push straight down but this thing, you push straight down if you want, but really you can just slap it any which way. It just needs a light touch. Actually, they say that on the website too. Light touch. Biomechanically engineered ergonomic... What? You already said that. It feels great though. You give this thing to somebody and tell them to click it, 100% of the people will tell you, ho ho ho, that feels great. All that being said, I do have two slight gripes. First of all, the clearing is kind of clumsy to me. You turn the crank towards you and the numbers all turn over to zero. Both knobs on both sides are turning the same bar. This is all fine. My issue is that the crank can turn both ways, but only one way actually clears it. The other way doesn't do anything. And I always forget which way to do it. So you turn it the wrong way. Okay, pretty soon you notice it's not doing anything, so you turn it back the other way. But that doesn't do anything either. Because somehow if you start off the wrong way, you have to turn it all the way back the right way before it starts working again. You have to like somehow make up the difference before it actually starts working. And now I feel like I'm plugging in a USB wire. You didn't go right the first way, you turn it over. Didn't go right that way either, so you turn it back over the first way. But that was wrong to begin with. Couldn't they just make it so the crank only turns in the right direction? Or put an arrow on the case or something? I don't know. 
All right, my second little problem. The buttons are perfect for individual hits. I get a point, bam. You get a point, bam. Okay, but what if I get four points? Bam, 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 bam. How about 20 points? Here's where things get a little messy. See, the light touch button doesn't really have a specific instant when the count registers. Inside, you can feel the button pressing a lever that moves smoothly down. It doesn't really click into place. This is actually part of what makes it feel so good. You don't feel any jerky feedback from the mechanism. That click that you hear and what you feel in your finger is just the plastic cap hitting the bottom of the case. So anyway, the internal lever is moving smoothly throughout your press. And that means that it's possible to do a half press. If you're trying to give me 20 points, I'd say it's very likely you'll get at least one half press in there. If I press it only halfway, the lever on the inside only goes halfway down. And then the next time I press it, it goes all the rest of the way. The effect is that I think I did two presses, but it only counts as one. Usually you can tell when this happens by the feel or the sound, but it's not always obvious. Anyway, these are my two gripes. The clearing is awkward and it's not great for rapid, repeated presses. I imagine that the makers of the denominator would say it's not really meant for that kind of fast button mashing, so maybe it's not a big deal. And I think this is the true spirit of the denominator's design. There's a lot of things they could have done differently. Coulda, but didn't. And I respect that. They perfected the design many decades ago and they're sticking to it. My mom was playing around with one of these. She said, I like this thing, but I wish it had subtractor buttons too. And why not individual clearing buttons for each counter? I said, you just don't get it, mom. They've been making these things for 120 years. You don't last that long by chasing every little idea that runs through your head. You push the button and it counts. You turn the crank and it goes to zero. That's what it does, mom. It doesn't do anything else. It's not supposed to do anything else, mom. You want one that clears individually? Well, you can't have that because it doesn't do that, mom. The denominator company was a hit before your mother was born, though she was born a long, long time ago. The denominator company is not here to make friends. They are here to count numbers one at a time and clear them all at once. That's it.